Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be my November wrap up. I read a total of three books in November. I'm definitely disappointed that I didn't really read a lot. I don't know, I kind of want to do a video talking about just how I'm feeling about reading and like why I feel like I'm struggling and stuff because I don't see reading as a competition or anything like that. I just compare my reading abilities to my past self because I used to read a lot you know in the beginning of my channel I would read like 20 to 30 books a month and now I'm reading like three books. Whenever I'm like upset about the fact that I'm not reading a lot it's more because I'm comparing it to my past self and the fact that I know I can read a lot I just feel like the last two years I really struggled to focus on things and to actually just sit down and read. But I feel like maybe I want to talk about that in a video and stuff and go a little bit more in detail. But I did read three books in November. I read one physical book, which was a reread, and then I read two books on my Kindle. So the first book I read was Tattered Stars by Katherine Cowles. This is the first book in the Tattered and Torn series and this I gave four out of five stars. Everly is back in the small town she grew up in years after her dad went to jail for kidnapping a girl. The town is not happy to see her, including Hayes, the local sheriff. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was super emotional and a little heavy but heartwarming. I really enjoyed Hayes and Everly as characters and I liked their romance. Hayes was so protective and caring for Everly and I, I really liked that. I like how Everly found her family. She was welcomed by Hayes and his family with open arms. Obviously not in the beginning but um, more towards the middle. They were very welcoming and they accepted her. I loved the small town farm vibes. I loved the overall atmosphere of this book. It was contemporary but it had like a subtle mystery element to it. It definitely reminded me of Devney Perry who I really love and I feel like if you like her books you will also enjoy specifically this first book. Overall, I just really enjoyed this first book in the series and I am very excited to continue it. Then I read Gabriel's Rapture by Sylvain Renard. This is the second book in the Gabriel's Inferno series and this I gave four out of five stars. This was a reread for me. I have read this book a total of four times. I think every time I have given this four stars. I reread this because Passion Flix made an adaptation of it and I finally got around to rereading the book and then watching the movies. So I will link that whole video down below if you want to know all of my thoughts. Obviously, I love this book and the series. I've read it multiple times. The first book, Gabriel's Inferno, basically follows Gabriel Emerson, who is Julia's professor, and they sort of have this secret, mysterious past that leads them to question their relationship with each other, if that makes sense. Obviously, I don't really want to spoil this one, so I'm not going to say what it's about, but it immediately picks up after the first book. I love Gabriel. I love how protective and how supportive he is of Julia. I love how much he loves her. He is very romantic. Julia is definitely very naive and very innocent, but I love their relationship and I love how they try to communicate as much as possible, even when they keep secrets from each other. I will say the beginning of this book was a little slow and there were times that I did find it was kind of boring, like it kind of just dragged, and the end definitely was rushed, but I still really love this book, and I am excited to reread the third book and watch the movies when they finish filming them. And then the last book I read was Falling Embers by Katherine Cowles. This is the second book in the Tattered and Torn series, and this I gave three out of five stars. This follows Hadley, who is Hayes's sister, and she is a paramedic and a little bit of a daredevil, and she has always been in love with her brother's best friend, Calder, who is a firefighter and a single dad. I did enjoy this, but I just didn't really love the romance that much, and I felt like it was really hard to relate to Hadley. I just felt a lack of connection with this book. Maybe it was a little too 
angsty and I didn't really expect that. I kind of thought it would progress a lot faster. I just feel like the romance and their connection wasn't really there for me. The characters were kind of uninteresting to me. Like I just, I don't know, there wasn't anything super stand out about this book and I did feel like the mystery aspects took over the story and like the romance aspect, if that makes sense. I feel like the romance wasn't as prominent in this book, but I am interested to continue this series at some point. I do want to read some of the later books because I have heard that they're amazing, so I do plan to eventually continue. So those are all the books that I read in November. I didn't read any like Christmassy winter romances, which kind of sucks, but I am hoping to read some in December, obviously. But yeah, this year just has not been my reading year and that's okay. I need to accept that and be okay with it and just aim for better results next year. I feel like I need to sort out my priorities and time manage a little bit better and just figure things out because I feel like my reading has been all over the place and I really want to get back to at least reading 10 to 15 books a month. I definitely have some solid goals for next year, but let me know how many books you read in November and which one was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!